What's going on, my PT peeps? My walking dead family, my fighters. I'm One Eye Bright, also known as PT. You don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about The Walking Dead Season 11, Part 2, Part 3, all parts of Walking Dead Season 11. Spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead, especially recent filming news, promo photos, recent filming photos. Again, spoiler warning. But I want to talk about a couple of these promo photos, especially this one. Daryl's outfit and the people around him, I kind of find it very interesting, and I hope there's more to it. But as always, guys, let me know your thoughts, post your comments below, and hit that subscribe button. We truly appreciate all the love and support. Thank you very much. But let's look at it a little bit here, right? Daryl's rocking a black outfit, black clothes. Nothing new there. But if you look to the person next to him, is there something there on his sleeve? We know that Ezekiel, Stefani, Eugene, and Princess were in the same spot taking out walkers. But why is Princess the only one in kind of a black outfit? We see Rosita. Daryl and a bunch of other, I guess, cadets, hopefuls, people trying out to be a soldier. But if we look at the guy next to Daryl, I see something on his sleeve. And I know it's not a CRM logo, but what if there is some connections to it? I would love to see that. Black outfits, black outfits. Are we reading too much into it? Maybe. But it's just a theory right now, and I hope there is some major CRM connections this part and in part three, and then the Rick movies, and it all connects, because that's what we want it all to connect. And this is fan art, but I hope there's something to it. Now we see Negan, and again, we're gonna talk about some of the photos from previous videos, but there's some new stuff here, so definitely stay tuned and watch to the end. But Negan is gonna be a focal point for sure, but how about Pamela Milton? Pamela Milton is a character that we wanna know, is she good, is she bad? She looks kinda like Mr. Burns, some say Hillary Clinton, Hillary Burns, I jokingly say, but is she evil? Is she mean? Is she just trying to get the job done does she have a trade agreement or some sort of agreement with the crm i would think so i hope so i'm really hoping that this outfit was from the promo photos way back when you see carol i'm guessing this is like a fall festival people are dressed up kind of reminds me of the fair from season nine i believe but we see carol got the apron or the schmock and she's got some baked goods on the tray so she's baking again Carol's cookies. You know when she's baking, you better watch out, right? Because we she's done this before and it's a nice callback and it's just fitting that she goes to work at the bake shop for some sweet treats. But don't be fooled. We all know that Carol's gonna blend in and be unassuming and then get stuff done. Mercer, we have high hopes for some big story arcs in part two and part three. And I would love to see Mercer join the fight against the CRM. That would be pretty awesome. Now, filming recently was here at Alexandria outpost 22 so we're guessing that the commonwealth has taken control of alexandria because they were there they set up some stuff they saved the day and now alexandria is working for them how many other outposts are there it says outpost 22 and it says warning restricted area it is prohibited to enter this area without permission of the installation commander while on this installation, all personnel and the property under their control are subject to search, use of deadly force authorized. I believe all these photos are on Twitter, at Rick's Lincoln, photo credit to that person. But you clearly see Outpost 22 Commonwealth. So does that mean there's 21 other outposts? Probably, potentially. Colony of the Commonwealth, no trespassing by order of the commanding officer. So my question is, who is the commanding officer? Is it someone from our group or someone from the Commonwealth? We see Connie right here rocking a different outfit. She's going to hopefully have a big part with the journalist aspect because she was a journalist before the zombie apocalypse. And yes, thank you guys for posting in the comments that Kelly was in high school and Connie used to work as a journalist. So was Kelly a high school teacher? Was she in high school? Can't remember, let me know in the comments below. And we see the Commonwealth soldiers behind them. So we know that Connie and Kelly are gonna be part of the Commonwealth. So is Yumiko. But Magna, their leader, because it was Magna's group, is going to be a waitress. So Connie, Kelly, and Yumiko look to have some status, and Magna, not so much. How does Luke fit in? Can't wait to see that guy. Now, Princess and Eugene, I didn't talk about this in the other video when we talked about the promo photos, so I apologize, but Princess and Eugene look to be working together. And Princess looks concerned right here. But ultimately, Princess and Eugene are working together to hopefully uncover what happened to Stefani, because something is going to happen there. Did she get killed? Was she outcast? Was she put away? Was she kicked out? You see Eugene's down in the dumps. He's got a trash can fire or a bucket fire, and he just looks sad. He looks like he's defeated. 
We see Princess in the back there, and some people are saying it's not Princess, but to me it is. She has a tiara on, so are they making fun of her? Can't wait to find out. But Princess is in the jail cell with, I'm guessing, Eugene, and they're probably caught from trying to find out information that they're not supposed to, and that makes sense. I mean, Eugene shouldn't be able to uncover a lot of things because he's one guy. The Commonwealth should be pretty secure. They should know what they're doing, but Lance Hornsby is gonna be a big factor with that. But the fact that Eugene is going into this weird path for the show, it's not in the comic at all. He finds the real Stephanie and that's the rest of the story. There is no fake Stephanie missing persons board. That's just for the show. And I do like the differences from the comic and the show if it's done right, but this could be good or bad. Again, can't wait to find out. But the fact that Eugene is going to be looking kind of possessed here in this photo, probably yelling at Lance Hornsby. I don't think it's gonna go over too well with Lance, right? Lance is like, who are you talking to? And all Lance has to do is to expose Eugene like he was trying to overthrow Pamela Milton or he punched Sebastian, so that's not gonna go over very well, right? Who is Pamela Milton going to believe? Lance or Eugene? So we're gonna have to see what happens here, but Lance is a shady character. He may be the true villain of the Commonwealth. Every season we need a villain, whether it's Shane or the governor or this or that or whatever it is. Is Lance the true villain or is it Pamela Milton? Is it somebody else? Can't wait to find out. It's something that we're not sure about because again, it's different for the show and the comic is the comic and the show is the show. And there's always differences, good, bad, and different. But the fact that we see some different outfits here, and yes, I know they're probably being put through the ringer and these are the outfits. But the fact that it's all black attire when it wasn't that way with Eugene, Ezekiel, and Stefani, Daryl's always wearing black, so that doesn't matter. But Rosita, Daryl, and these other people are all in black makes me wonder and really hope that it's a subtle, if not pretty big connection with the CRM. But I got some breaking news as I'm making the video right here. So photo credit to at AGFA. I got this from at TW Universe Spoilers. So as you can see, some recent filming news, a bus is going towards Alexandria, towards that same door. Some Commonwealth soldiers are in Jeeps or a Jeep, a motorcycle, and people are thinking these are prisoners on this bus. What does it mean? Can't wait to find out. Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Stay safe. And as always, tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we love